One person has passed away, 48 others have been injured and several vehicles have been damaged following the destructive underground explosion that destroyed sections of Bria Street and Brissick Street in the Johannesburg CBD yesterday. The body of the deceased was found trapped under the cars that were affected at the corner of Lillian Ngoi and Joburg Street. Speaking in a media briefing held earlier today, Gauteng Premier Banyaza Lisufi says of the 48 injured people, eight remain in hospital. Lisufi says the officials are working tirelessly to determine the cause of the explosion. And on the other hand, the Johannesburg Executive Mayor Kabelo Komanda has assured members of the public that the situation is under control and measures have been put in place to assist the affected residents. The provincial government give an update and say the cause of the explosion has still not been identified. And engineers confirm that three junction boxes which are in the CBD contributed to the explosion. This is the first criminal report that we are having that indicates that the three junction boxes contributed to the explosion. And they've taken us through how the first box uh, uh, exploded the second and the third and they've analyzed the nature of the explosion and uh, they also feel uh, that there is a guess that they still want to experiment so that they can tell us uh, the type of guess uh, that uh, that they are sensing. The mayor has also alluded that the head of administration in the COJ, together with experts, will sit down with the media to give us a fully detailed response to the ongoing mechanisms taken to further mitigate damage. To our residents, um, this, this is a service delivery issue. And as you know, on the ground, the JMPP officers that are there 24 hours, the EMS, that is ensuring that the search and rescue is conducted efficiently. City power that is ensuring that there are no further um, incidents that might transpire as a result of this phenomenon. Although not unique to the city of Johannesburg, and we will get to that. But for now, I would like to inform the residents that the administrative wing in the city of Johannesburg that is on the ground and directly involved with each and every aspect. In terms of fatality, it is still remaining at one person. The government say they are still identifying the deceased individual through their digital fingerprint biometric system. Two people are still in a critical condition out of the eight people who are still in hospital. The number of persons affected is still at 48. For Soweto TV News, I am Zuli Banzi Mazibugo.